guys! I'm Kathy. I am international student here in Canada from the Philippines. I post YouTube video every week about being an international student, my experience here in Canada, and about lifestyle. If you like that kind of content, subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay, bago ko simulan lahat, I just want to say thank you guys for the support in my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for commenting on my videos. And I would really appreciate it if you also check out my other videos. Just go visit my profile, my channel, and yeah. Also, here's my Instagram. You can follow me there and you can DM me if you have any questions regarding inter being an international student here in Canada. I will gladly reply to you. And yeah, let's connect. So you've decided to come here in Canada, you bought your ticket, and now you're looking at your luggage and you're thinking, what am I going to bring? Oh my gosh, fret not my friend, because I'm here, I'm going to share with you the things that I brought with me from the Philippines to here in Canada, and um, what are the things that you should consider? Let's get into it. Okay, before, ano ba yan? Okay, this is just the sunlight from my window. I'm sorry, it's like a slash on my body. Anyway, going back to the topic, before um, I share with you the things that I bought with me. So generally, I want to bring two pieces of luggages for the check-in and each should be 23 kilograms. So if you go over 23 kilograms, you have to take out other, other things. Just be in that allowed weight. So for carry-on bag, the maximum weight is 7 kilograms. Since it is carry-on bag, you can bring a large luggage. You just have to bring the smaller one or a backpack or if you like a shoulder bag. Let's start with the things that you have to bring inside your two luggages. First, of course, clothes. So under this category, you have to bring winter winter clothes so for the winter clothes you have to bring jackets hoodies or any clothing that will protect you from the harsh weather or the coldness of canada especially if you come here during january it's really cold so i suggest you bring one you don't have to bring a lot of this because if you came here in canada there are winter jackets that is in a reasonable price so just bring at least one piece of winter jacket so you will be prepared if the time comes. Some of the winter clothes that you have to bring is hoodies, long sleeves, turtleneck, scarf, bonnet, thick socks. That's for the winter clothing. And then you can also bring few t-shirts just so you can wear during not so cold weather. Also bring you pants, leggings shorts and as well as sleepwear oh of course underwear you have to bring your underwear next bring your shoes of course if you have vintage boots bring it with you just like i told you earlier there are a lot of um, reasonable price winter boots clothes here in canada so if you don't have it you can buy here bring your slippers formal shoes so that you're prepared if you have a presentation for your work or your school bring running shoes or any comfortable shoes that you can wear every day next bring toilet reels and of course your makeup if you want to bring your makeup i suggest that you bring at least one of each toiletries such as shampoo soap a conditioner so that if you came here you don't have to be in a panic mode to buy those kind of things you don't have to bring a lot of those stuff because there's walmart and other grocery shops but just to be prepared bring one for the people who loves and who really takes care of their skin bring your skin product because some of the screen product in our country is not available here in Canada. And for the girls, bring sanitary napkin. Yes, there are a lot of brands of sanitary napkin here in Canada, of course. But like I've told you earlier, bringing at least one box of it can be a help for you in case it arrives unexpectedly. 
Also, bring, of course, your sanitizer. Also brought with me lots of medicine, which are paracetam paracetamol, allergic medicine, so that you will be prepared. You don't know when are you going to be sick. For those people who have the prescriptions, bring a lot of those medicine with you and as well as the prescription of your doctor so that when you came here, you don't have to worry about getting prescriptions because you already have it. Next, electronics. In your luggage, I suggest that you put all of the things that is not that super valuable, like the cords, the chargers, or if you have equipment for your camera, then you can put it there, such as the tripod, but like the camera itself, put it inside your carry-on bag because you don't want to crush it during the transportation of your luggages. Next. Food! To bring food as a person that is very scared to be hungry because if I get hungry, I get like really moody and really mad at everything. So, <laughs> so I bring food like crackers, chips, instant noodles, cup noodles or stuff like that. You don't have to worry about getting Filipino food here in Canada because there's a lot of stores, Asian stores, dyan sa tabi -tabi. <laughs> so you don't have to worry. But at least bring like the snacks or few food with you. So just you're prepared, just to be prepared. Next, bring school supplies. Again, um, you don't have to bring a lot of these because there's a lot of stores here in Canada where you can buy school supplies in reasonable prices as well. But like bringing at least one notebook, two pens, highlighter pens so that you will be prepared for your school or your work like as for me not really sure if bond papers or colored papers are needed for my program of course it's not that needed also the school already provide those kind of things but the, like the notebook it's not provided um for me i just bought one notebook which is actually a gift from my sister this one it's so cute I actually didn't use this for notes or anything. See, there's a lot of empty pages, but um, I use it for journaling and I still have uh, like the first page is the first day of school. Nostalgic. I also scribble a lot of stuff here, put like to-do list and a little bit of school stuff, but mostly just random idea inside my head. <laughs> You can bring one notebook because you don't know if you need, really need it or if you don't really need it just like me. I uh, usually um, use my laptop to take the notes. Extra mask with you. So before, it's not really mandatory but now here in other places, in other provinces in Canada, it's mandatory. So bring extra masks so you don't have to buy immediately if you got here in Canada. So that's it for the two check-in luggages. Now let's go to the carry-on bag. Okay, first things first, you don't want to get hungry. So bring with you crackers or any snacks without smell, okay? Because um, it's not allowed inside. Just bring one because I, as far as I can remember, when I was in the plane, a 16 hours flight to came here in Canada, I was so... I was so hungry. We were served three meals, but I mean, I ate a lot and like the serving is not that enough for my big tummy. I don't want to remember. Next, bring with you a pen. When you got in the airport here in Canada, there are a lot of things you, that you have to fill in and you don't want to share pens with other people because of course, that that's a transmission of virus bring your laptop your camera your phone your wallet or any valuable things with you because if you put that in the check-in luggages there might be a chance that it might be stolen or if it is a gadget it might be crushed next bring your power bank some of the planes provide a um, charging station but some don't so just to be prepared as well because when you got here in Canada, you want to have a means to contact the people, your contact person in the airport or at least contact Uber. Next is extra toiletries, especially for girls. Bring with you um, extra napkin or tissue because, well, uh, um, there are tissues in the plane 
but as for me as a suggestion mm -hmm, don't share your toiletries with other people for girls bring your own sanitary nap makeup or anything to freshen up your when you already arrived in canada next bring a jacket you don't want to be freezing inside the plane or when you arrive in canada so bring a jacket a hoodie next is extra mask just in case you lose the one you're using also bring extra sanitizer hand sanitizer with you and the last and most important thing that you need to bring with you is your documents bring your passport your study permit your uh, letter of acceptance in your school or your work any documents that you think is needed in the immigration make sure that it won't get wet maybe put it inside um a plastic fold uh, envelope as for me i bought this one i know it's huge but it's really handy it's cute and it's plastic and i don't think it will get wet if ever something happens so secure it with you in your carry-on bag and yeah that's it for the carry-on bag um, please watch this video until the end because um, the next few things that I want to say with you is a reminder and this is um, important. Okay, your reminders. Uh, one is of course, check the weight of your luggages and your carry-on bag. Remember that each luggage should not be over 23 kilogram and for the carry-on bag, it shouldn't be over 7 kilogram. Next. Make sure that in your carry-on bag, you have your documents and your passport because you will need this in the immigration center. No more than 100 ml container. You sharp things in your carry-on bag because you have to give it up in the security personnel. Okay, next, put locks on your um, luggages even though there is a built-in lock already just to be secure. Uh, some of the people also put a tape around their luggage uh, and next is put an identifying ribbon or cover for your luggage because there are a lot of identical luggages so that it will be easier for you to find your luggage on of all the identical luggage from around the world guys i hope you have a safe flight and do your mandatory two weeks isolation please for you and for other people around you as well thank you for watching this video and i hope you learned a thing or two about what to pack in your luggages and what to consider yeah if you have any questions comment below and if you think i missed something comment as well below yeah let's talk in the comment section and thank you thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up below if you think this is really helpful for you thank you have a great day and god bless everyone